Good morning. Good afternoon, I believe. I find it interesting how the things that happen in my life are typically what I make my videos about. And that's no accident because I'm mirroring how I feel to other people and they're just showing it back to me. For example, the topic of this video is going to be how I try to control everything around me to feel safe. And I was shown that just five minutes ago while we started this walk. Now I only have Kila with me today, not both dogs, because it's the weekend and the trails tend to be busier. And when I have both dogs together, they tend to be reactive towards other dogs. When it's just one of them, they're fine. And this family's walking their dog and the lady asked me, which way are you gonna go on the trail? Because we're gonna head right and our dog's reactive, so could you please head left? And I said, yeah, not a problem. And it made me chuckle afterwards because I have been in that very same boat with my dogs or any situation in life. It's just very apparent with my dogs where I'm afraid of them getting into a situation that I can't control or where they're gonna get hurt or another dog's gonna get hurt. So I try to control everything around me to avoid that situation from happening. And today that I only have one dog, I don't really have that fear. However, it's very clear that that fear is still in me because other people are showing it to me. And so what that woman was doing, just as I've done many times and I'm sure will do again, is try to control everything around me so that I can feel safe. And let me tell you, that is an exhausting way to live. It's very hard. <laughs> I have found it very hard to get people to do what I want and to be who I want them to be in order for me to feel okay and safe and happy. People can't do that for me and it's not their job to do it for me. It's only my job to get me to a place where I feel safe so then I can show up in the world not needing conditions to change. So I'm, it's funny, not in a ha ha way, it's just how the world works. I find it fascinating. <laughs> and I'm really learning now to let go of people, places and things around me because I can't control them. I can't control anything. The only thing I can control is <laughs> my reaction to stuff. And the more I'm learning that, the better and more at ease I'm starting to feel. And that situation with that woman and the dog was just a reminder that, oh, yeah, I still have that energy active in me of needing other people to be different, needing things to be different so that I may feel okay. Now that I'm starting to let that go, I feel so much more free and open because there's so much less fear of what's gonna happen. And my dogs are just a metaphor of that, of showing me that. I found that extremely neat and a very lovely sign of growth for myself. And I'm proud of me. And I'm, I'm noticing, I'm starting to say I'm proud of me a lot more. And I feel good doing that. So I will continue saying it. And I thank you for watching and listening to me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.